friends, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. I am very excited to share my new project with you. I participated in the swap hosted by my friend Carol Herlock and the theme for the swap was Tea in Paris. For the swap we had to create three stacked teacups, a Julie Nutting doll, as well as a teapot which I've created and will show you in a separate video. Before I review the project in further detail, let me show you the paper that I used. I used the Garden Party Paper Stack by Craftsmith. I've had this in my stash for quite some time and I was waiting for the perfect project to use it. This is my stack teacup. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Although it looks fairly complex, it was actually very easy to put together. It measures 14 inches from top to bottom and the width of the teacup is 5 inches. On the top, I've cut out this teacup in Cricut Design Space, which I've cut out four times. The first layer is the design paper and then I've cut out two layers of 110 pound cardstock to make it extra sturdy and then on the back I used more design paper. In between to make the teacup stand up I have a large paper clip which I've shaped into an L and then glued it to the bottom of the teacup. And as you can see on the top of the cup here, I have filled it with beautiful flowers. And then on the back, I have this white polka dot and glitter tool. Now this first cup here, I've decorated it with this white lace and mint green pom-pom trim. And then I finished it off with this silver rhinestone. As I was creating this project, I was thinking about the types of desserts that I wanted to include, and what better dessert than a French macaroon? I went on Pinterest and I found lovely images of macaroons, and I've cut out a variety of them in all different colors, in small and large. In the center of each of the macaroons, I did use my art glitterific hologram paint, and then on each of the saucers, I've layered the macaroons and beautiful roses and other flower details. The word tea here is from the I love you a latte cartridge. To create the word in, I simply typed it out and then welded the letters together. And then on the bottom where it says Paris and it has the Eiffel Tower, that is one file that has two different layers. In the back, I cut out the Eiffel Tower in this pretty light blue and then for the word Paris I cut that out in a pink glitter cardstock. On the sides here we have the little tea bags and I've embellished each of the tea bags with cute little trims. Here we have a little flower with pearl and then on the bottom I did use a piece of jewelry with little pearls on it. If you look very closely, you can see the little macaroons that are hidden throughout. I've got a variety of mulberry flowers as well as the foam flowers here. On the left here, I have my Julie Nutting doll, Ava, and she is also cut out on four layers. She's very, very sturdy. I love her sunglasses. I gave her horn rimmed glasses and I layered black in the back and then pink on the front. I think she looks so chic. And I've given her a cute little bow with the rhinestone in the center for the buckle. And she's got a pretty little handbag also embellished with a glitter pink bow and a little rhinestone. Now I have her attached to the cup with an enamel pink paper clip. I actually got this idea from my friend Michelle Randolph. In her teacup stack, she attached her Julie Netting doll with a piece of floral wire. And so I thought that was a great idea and I wanted to do the same thing. So you can take this doll out from the teacup and as you can see it attaches right here alongside the doll. Now the great thing about this is when you ship this, you can easily take the doll off and the doll will not get damaged. And you can take it off and have the teacup just like so, or you can attach it back just as easily. And there is your doll. On the second cup, I have a beautiful mint green rose 
the cup is lined with this very pretty white lace and then I've lined that with pink beaded trim. We have this large glitter flower here on the saucer and then I further embellished that with this large pearl and rhinestones. We have more macaroons, foam flowers, and then we have this beautiful teal flower here. And then on the bottom here I've embellished this cup with this box pleated ribbon that's in teal and white polka dot. Finish that off with more rhinestones. We have a large macaroon here. I did include a piece of jewelry. We've got a resin pink flower, pearls, and gemstones. Let me show you the back. I've included more of this pretty white and polka dot glitter tool in the back. We've got these beautiful flowers and you can see the pretty fluted details of the bottom of the cup here. Each of the saucers are lined with a white doily. This project was inspired by Carol Herlock. I absolutely love the way she did her stacked teacup. And I will include a link to her video. She used a variety of dyes for the teacup as well as the teapot. One of the dyes was by Brenda Walton. It was a Sizzix teacup dye, which they no longer make. I was able to find a pattern on Pinterest. And let me show you what that looks like. This is the cup. As you can see, it's got this beautiful scallop detail on the top. It's got the fluted bottom, which also has a scallop detail, and then it has this pretty curved handle. I just think that is so elegant. Now, this pattern does not come with the saucer. However, in design space, there is a teacup and a saucer. I believe it's in the tags, bags, boxes, and more two cartridge. This concludes my review of my Tea in Paris stacked teacup. I will include more photos of this project at the end of this video. Please be sure to watch my next video where I show you my beautiful teapot and pedestal that I created to go along with this. If you like this video, please do take a moment to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and please don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now and happy crafting! Thank you.